when the quadratic relation is written in standard form, okay, so we, we've learned vertex form. Vertex form, you can figure out where the vertex is. Standard form tells you where the y-intercept is. This value, c, which is a constant term, is the y-intercept. So if I tell you that a parabola has this as its equation, what's the y-intercept of this parabola? One. Good. If it's written in vertex form, so example B, you cannot look at this and say that the y-intercept is 5. It's not 5. That's the y value of the vertex, right? This is vertex form, hk. So what do you have to do to figure out the y-intercept for this? Put it into standard form. So do exactly what we just did. Expand and simplify. And then once it's in standard form, once we've expanded and simplified, you'll notice the c value. It's not going to be 5. It's going to be something else. I want you guys to expand this. Before I've expanded it, so I put the equation into this app in vertex form. We know the vertex is going to be located at negative 1, 5, right? That's my h and k, which is right here. This is a vertex. Like I said, if it's not written in standard form, you have to put it in standard form to see the y-intercept. So we'll go back and put it in standard form, but just by looking at the graph, your y-intercept, so the point where it hits the y-axis, is located at positive 2. So when we put it in standard form, it should say at the very end, plus 2. That's your C value. Okay, so let's expand this and verify that it is plus 2 at the end. So x squared plus 1x plus 1x plus 1 plus 5 equals, let's simplify, what's 1x plus 1x? Now I need to distribute the negative 3 Neg no, negative 3 times x squared, negative 6x, negative 3 times positive 1 is negative 3. What's negative 3 plus 5? Positive 2. And this is in standard form, and we just learned that c is the y-intercept. And if we look at the graph, it verifies that, yes, this parabola hits the y-axis at positive. See? Made with DoodleCast Pro.